crazy going on. Hang on one second. You see how pathetic I am. All right, okay. So good to see you guys. Okay, I am so uh, thrilled to be back here at Comic Con. I'm so excited that you all came. Hey guys, welcome. How are you doing? I'm so excited about this movie, and I know you guys are going to love it. I have some really cool stuff to give away. First thing I have to do. Okay, some of the cool. Don't let me fall off this thing. I will. All right. The coolest thing. You'll catch me. That's so tempting. The girl's like, uh uh. <laughs> Alright. So, if you want to win a HP touchpad. Did I say that right? I said it right! An HP touchpad. Okay. So I know you got your bags. Please. Yo! How you doing? It's good to see. So, I've got two of these to give away. I'm going to give away in the next half hour, alright? I know, it'd be nice just to fling them out, but that's it. Okay. Alright, so you're going to take out your phone, you're going to text the word HP and your zip code to 43 kicks, K I X. Okay, 43 kicks. I, I need this photo, actually. This is perfect. The modern day crowd. Okay, what's that? Are you eligible if you live in Canada? Yeah, well, I'm giving out right now. Yeah. Canadians, welcome. Okay, so I, what I said was HP and your zip code to 43 kicks KIX at, and here's the number, 43549. 43549. So, okay, you've got to text the word HP and your zip code to 43 kicks kix so 43 kix at 43549 do we need to do it again yes yes again yes please are you kidding no trust me i wouldn't even know how to do this i'm just amazed okay you have to text the word hp here it's written in uppercase i don't know if that matters hp and your zip code Two. You text it to 43KIX. Okay, just yell out when you got that bit. Okay, to yell out if you don't. Right, HP in your zip code, 43KIX. We got it. At, and here's the number, 43549. I think KIX is 549. No? It is. Okay. Yeah. So it's just for people who don't have numbers right? on their phone like me. Well, at least two people have it, so two people are going to win. I'm going to give that out in about, what, I'm here for what, 11 hours, right? So I'm giving it, yeah. I'm going to give that out in the next half hour. I have some really cool stuff from the movie to give out. I just want to show you. First of all, this is a limited edition swag Woo! bag. I know you guys are going to collect some serious swag today. Hopefully an HP touch pad. It's got a really, this is really great. It's fantastic. That's Noisy Boy. That's Noisy Boy right there. And Noisy Boy is nine foot tall. Noisy Boy, in fact, is a real robot. You don't want to know how much this thing costs. It's a lot of money. And it, not today, uh, unfortunately, but it lights up. The head moves, the arms move, everything. So when you're seeing the movie, you can see, oh, wow, it's cool. Metro. We've got Noisy Boy. We've got some, uh, yeah, the other ones too, we've got here. Anyway, these guys all work as real robots and they are unbelievable. That was actually a little tip to our director, Sean Levy from Steven Spielberg. He said, look, I know when these robots are fighting, you're gonna be using like the most modern technology, but when you're in close, take it from me, you wanna have the real thing. And so it's unbelievable for us. So these, there's four real robots, two of which you've seen today. So we've got this, inside of this, I, I have 400 of these, so you're all getting one. Of course. All right. Someone's going to get banged in again. It's like 11 lawsuits in here ready to happen. So, oh, we've got, okay. So my, I'm going to tell you, my son, 
is the hardest guy to please. He loves all the merchandise. He'll love that too, actually, by the way. Okay. So, this is our hero robot. This is Adam. I'm going to sign a whole lot of this stuff if you want. I'm going to be around here. I'll sign it for you. One lawsuit. That actually nearly was a lawsuit. Okay. I've got t-shirts. I'm going to sign all this. Okay. You guys can have a lawsuit. So just feeding frenzy. Go for it. There you go. Okay. So, yeah. I've got the bags. We've got merchandise. We've got a lot. We've got 400 bags. I have these posters which were made just for here, which I think are really cool. I don't know how many I've signed, but my hand is killing me right now. But I'm pretty sure everyone here is going to get a signed poster for you. I just want to tell you guys a little bit about this movie, which, uh, you know, it's actually... I, I was waiting a little while to do my next movie, and I'm so pumped about it. Uh, the movie's called Real Steel. It is set 10 years in the future in where the world of human boxing is being superseded by robots who box. These robots are badass. They, they're unbelievable. They're great. But the reason I love this story was the human element of it. It's a father-son relationship. I play this uh, guy who has not been around for his son for the first 10 years. That Joker. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, Joker. How are you, brother? Is, what's that? What do you want? A free... A, a free what? That's... Come on, close, man. You can close. Oh, you um, I played Charlie, who was a boxer. Now boxing is pretty much, there's no money in the game. It's all in the world, in the sport of robot boxing. So uh, he's forced to make a living, trying to eke out a living. And he, he mainly works in the underground of robot boxing, which by the way, is very, very cool. And he's reunited with his son, not that he wants to be, but his, his son uh, turns up on his doorstep. And the two of them go on this kind of road journey through the world of robot boxing. And I gotta tell you, when I grew up, Chariots of Fire, Rocky, The Champ, Hoosiers. These movies, the movies I kind of love. I love sport. They kind of get out of your seat, cheer, go for it, bring a tear to your eye. Well, now I'm so excited because I'm in one of those movies. I think you guys are gonna, really going to like it. So thank you for being here. We are going to... I told you, I've got hundreds. Oh, here's the... So here's the... Yeah, I've signed it. If you want one without me signing it, that's cool too. <laughs> But that's noisy behind the back. Oh, yeah, okay. These were made just for here. So, with your cool swag bag, you're gonna. Uh, yeah, I'll sign a whole lot of those t-shirts too. I'll sign them and then we'll chuck them out. Yeah, but I'm sure there's people who don't want my signature. You get this out there. Joker, what do you want, Joker? What? You want everything? All right, man. That's good. It's my kind of guy. Like my honorary Australian. I want it all. I want it now. Now. I don't know if this is cool or not, but we are coming out. You can have a hug. Breathe, yeah, breathe. October, October 7th, yeah, the movie comes out. So Our premiere is October 2. October 2, and I don't know if this is cool or not, but I'd really like to invite a couple of people to come with me to the premiere. Uh, you can tell I'm winning this because I have no idea how I'm going to work this out. Uh, yeah, Joe, yeah. You want everything, Joker can come. Get up here, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, where's... <laughs> you did all my stuff. Hang on a sec. Who's, who here is organising? Who, okay, who was here early setting up? I want to know which fan was here first. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not believing all of you. <laughs> Were you seriously here first? What's your name? Linda? Amanda? You're coming to the premiere of Real Steel if you'd like to. Can you come? It's October 2nd in Los Angeles. Can you come? You all make it? Okay, you can bring someone else. So you can all try and hit on Amanda. And hit on the Joker. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's four tickets I'm doing now. Alright. Um, yeah, you, know, you, you guys know me, you know I'm going to get that. Okay, while we're in the mood, who wants to go and see Cowboys and Aliens? <laughs> Can I do that shit? Okay, I'll give it two tickets. <laughs> this is just brutal, bro. In the back! Come on! Up 
the free um, like gift that I just gave you is not going to help you. I'm looking at 300 people who got jacked, and you're like, what are you doing? Where's my gentleman here with a little girl on his shoulders? Because I know how much your shoulders are hurting right now. It's been like 20 minutes. Do you want to come to Cowboys Down this Saturday night? Have you got a babysitter? Can you sort that out? Final at all? Yeah, I don't know. It's up to you. Maybe you can come too. Because I hear it's really cool. I'm a good mate Daniel Craig. Alright. So... Questions for me. Because I'm here. And any, you guys want to throw out any questions, I'm open. Well, you're the press, I'm going to come talk to you in a bit. I'll talk to you in a bit. I'm going to talk to you anyway, relax. <laughs> yes, sir, at the back. I saw you on Broadway at Daniel Craig. Do you want to make that to a movie? Uh, yeah, he was saying I saw Daniel and I do Steady Rain on, uh, yeah. <laughs> on Broadway, and I believe a script is being written. Uh, Keith Harper wrote it, is writing one, and, and uh, it was actually Steven Spielberg came back when he saw it, he goes, man, this is a movie. And, and but Daniel, I said, like, you want to direct it? <laughs> so we'll see, it may, it may become one, yeah. Yes, ma'am. Corelli series? Oh my God, 11 people saw that series. <laughs> That was my first job. You're one of them? I've wanted to meet someone for the longest time. I don't know if they make it here. Oh, we had the HP winner, but we're going to hold off on that. Hey, Smurfy! Hey, Smurf! How are you, man? Good to see you. You good? You need a drink, don't you, right now? Get out of the sun, brother. You're about to fall down. Okay. So, uh, yes, I am making the movie Les Mis. Les Mis are up. That's going to be in February. Tom Hooper's directing that. Uh, and, uh, but before that, I've got to shoot Wolverine. Yeah. 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 We do that. There you go. So uh, we're shooting that. Uh, yeah, no worries. I'm sorry for you, man. So uh, we're going to shoot that in October. And I, I, ever since X-Men 1, I, I read those uh, comics of the saga of Japan. And I kept saying, why can't we do this one? So 10 years later, we are finally getting there. And... Chris Macquarie wrote an unbelievable script, uh, as you guys know, because Darren Aronofsky I tried to get to do, uh, I tried to get to do X Men Three and Wolverine One, and this was like, all right, now this is now we've got a story here. So he was so pumped about it, and his family issues he couldn't do it, but James Bond doing it. I think you guys are going to really do very It's great. Yes, sir. We are going to shoot it uh, partly in Japan. Uh, the exteriors, studio work will be done somewhere in North America. Are we what? <laughs> Are we getting a new storm? That's a good question. Under the con okay. So as you know, the Japanese saga, parts of it play with the existing X-Men, you know, the wedding and all that sort of thing, and part plays without. So uh, I don't want to give it away, but we are not... Uh, there's not a lot of the X-Men that you saw in X-Men 1, 2, 3. There's not a lot of them. No. I'm there, man. Yes, with a beret. Yes. Um, has a fan ever truly terrified you? And tell a story. Has a fan truly terrified me? No. No. <laughs> no I, I kind of love, I love the fans. I've kind of, uh, I've been kind of shocked by some of the fans. <laughs> Vinny, who's probably the biggest X-Men fan uh, out there, it was at a restaurant called Bubby's in New York. I don't know if you know it. It's like a brunch sort of place. It's great. And he was shaking when I said, you're right. And he goes, oh man, I'm just sort of into X. And I said, oh, right, you're Wolverine fan. He goes, and my fan, he takes off his shirt. He's the maitre d' in the middle of the restaurant. He turns around. He has the full, like, uh, <laughs> color tattoo of Wolverine on the back. And he's sweating, like. <laughs> and so the two of us just pose down for like five minutes. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, I can see uh, spirit fingers there, yeah. <laughs> I, I am hoping to go back to Broadway. I've just done a one-man show, which I hope to take there hopefully soon. And also a musical version of Houdini, which I'm working on with, Ant with Aaron Sorkin and uh, Stephen Schwartz. I'm really excited about Yo, yes sir, with a hat at the back. You want a dice? Two, four, six, oh, one.
probably two keys hard now too. Right? Yes, Ben? That's a really good question. There's the... Oh, <laughs> oh look, I, I, I thought he was unbelievable in that movie, he was so great and as Victor and uh, I don't want to give too much away but I think I've always loved, made me laugh, is the birthday present that Wolverine gets every year. So, it's all I'm saying. You can get a picture with me, yes. I do what he said, I'll come down here. Yes man? Yes, you can get a picture with me. Alright, yes. Yes, she can get a picture. Any other questions? <laughs> yes, sir. Do I want to grab a beer? You absolutely. <laughs> now we're talking. Sorry, Joker. Here's my honorary Australian for the day. Sorry about that. Yeah, at the back, sir. From A play. That I've ever. Wolverine. I love the movie Prestige too. I love that. Yes, sir. It's just so hard for me though. My nature is to, to tell you everything. You know it. Will the Silver Samurai be in this movie? Very good chance. Yes. <laughs> Hey, how are you there? How you Hello, doing? Girl. I got a little one on the shoulder. All right. Yeah, man. Hello. Can you see a little boxing? Sure. Oh. Do a little sugar egg. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not as good as you, but yeah. Yes, ma'am. What was her other day out? Yeah. Did she, did she work yesterday or the day before that? After the beer can, what? <laughs> can you... Hang on, so the beer, it's it's 11 a.m., beer, then dinner, that's, now we're really talking, we're beers for eight hours, then dinner. Yeah, I eat every two and a half hours, can we make a lunch? Woo! Yeah, man. Was that a My yes? My favourite drink? Well, that's a good question. I'll show you pictures. Like alcoholic drink. Uh, vodka is my favourite. Yes. But we all drink responsibly, don't we? <laughs> yes, yes, man. I would do the Oscars again. Yes. I would love to do the Oscars again. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. I would do the Tonys again too, absolutely. Yes. What's up? Well, that's good. That's a different question. Which one do I like doing? What you mean as a show? To host? Do I like the Tonys or the Oscars? I, you know what? I kind of, I really kind of love them both. But uh, <laughs> all right. What does what does Neil say? Oh yeah, right. That was fun. I thought Neil did an amazing job. Yeah, we did a little How to Succeed. There was a few numbers kind of rolled in there. Very good. What's that? Really? I am so sorry. I don't know what... You know what? I feel really bad. So, I hope you win the HP. I was going to give you one of those, but let me... Let me give you two t-shirts. No, can you pass that on? Thank you. Now, I feel really bad. You want a bag as well? You got, Oh, you got one? Did you get that? What? Are we going to let it go at all, ever? No, all right. Well, I'm not giving everything else. Okay. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'd like to, that show you're talking about, the one-man show, I'd like to do. I'd love to do it on Broadway. I'd love to do it. I, hopefully, God willing, I'll be doing it for the next 30 years. And I'll do it, hopefully, in San Diego. It's a beautiful theater here. And I'll get around. Now, I'm going to give away these HP touch pads. Because I know you guys got a lot of things to go and do and see today. So... It says, I'm going to win it? Hey, what's your name? Rich. So me too. Have you, have you got anything like this? I have nothing like that. Really? 
That's awesome. Well, hold it up, kiss it like it's a trophy. That's it. You want me to sign it? The box? <laughs> and your name is? Julia. Julia. <laughs> Have you got something like this? No. Really? It's my wife! Oh, Phoebe. <laughs> <laughs>